Good morning, world. But this is the morning after our Cape Horn rounding. We came to this place called, I think, Puerto Maxwell. And it's a little island off of Isla Ermite, which I hope I'm saying that right. And we're shorelined in. Uh, there are four shorelines on shore. And we've got those tied to our uh, stern cleats. And then we've got our anchor uh, in front. So we've got this beautiful place where we're completely surrounded and the water is really, really calm. Uh, it's just absolutely beautiful what we woke up to this morning. Just glass water and green hills around and, and clouds over the, the mountains. As noted in this area of the world, the conditions can change rather quickly. And even though it was raining, we decided to use the good wind to make the trek back north to Puerto Toro. We started by hoisting the dinghy back on deck. Hey, Kate's got some weeds on the front of it. Kate's, Kate's going water skiing. <laughs> faster, 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 faster. I can. You want to? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Enough excitement for the day. We started with the mainsail in its already preset third reef position from the previous day and hoisted the staysail until we could get out in steadier wind from behind the islands before making any other sail adjustments.
unfurled the jib and shook out the third reef up to the second reef because we're in a little bit of a wind shadow behind this island and we want to try to get there while there's still light or the best we can at least we want to get there fast uh, we'll see what happens and so far the the sun is trying to come through and warm us up and uh hopefully we'll be in porto toro before the end of the day Whew, a little a little unexpected weren't really planning on leaving today but decided that it was uh the prudent thing to do so we'll go park there for a minute and uh, check the weather again <laughs> all right back always to sailing. checking the weather. <laughs> always checking the weather always something to do Unfortunately, even with the added sail area, the wind did continue to die. Did we mention the quick change in conditions around these parts? Eventually, we started up the motor, and even though the trek back from Cape Horn was vastly different, we made the most of it and let our gear and bodies thaw out in the sun. We're just having a really, really good time. It's really nice out. Uh, there's no harm in using a little bit of the engine. That's what it's there for. Uh, there's, we don't want to just sit around and slant sails and you know, bang on hardware and everything. So we're gonna go back to Puerto Toro is the plan. We're probably gonna get there uh, pretty late this evening and then we'll hang out there again. It was really, really nice. And maybe we can explore that little town uh, a little bit more. Pick up a me yapping, let's go put a taste salad some more. Look at that. Just have to put the egg in and salad dressing and we'll be done. Oh yeah, Roxy likes it. Roxy likes it. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, and cheese. Duh. Cheese. I feel like the Olive Garden person. Tell me when. Keep going. That's what you always say. Keep going. More. <laughs> the sun is out. Woo! Whale somewhere over here. See if I can catch him on camera. Oh, there he is. Yes. Oh, there he is. I just got his back. He's a little speck on my camera, but yeah. Oh, there's two. I just saw two puffs. With the sky changing color and the wind quickly dying out, it was all finally starting to sink in. The vast differences in conditions between our Cape Horn rounding and now, and the way the weather can change so quickly, just as life can change so very quickly. It's that feeling of not wanting the moment to end, but setting your sights on the horizon. What's next for Sweet Ruka and her crew? We are arriving for docking. Estamos llegando para el muelle en Puerto Toro en 20 minutos. Bienvenido a Puerto. 
y está disponible para su atraque. Ok, thank you for your information. I hope you will arrive to Port Toro. Over. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. See you soon. Nos vemos pronto. Ok, stand by 16. 16. Are here in Puerto Toro once again. We just sailed around Cape Horn and Roxy couldn't be happier about it. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> we left uh, Isla Ermita and we're back in Puerto Toro after a beautiful sail. A little bit of motor sailing at the end because the wind died, but we made it. The sun set. We still have some daylight as it gets closer to 9 30, 10 o'clock here. And I think we're going to get some much needed rest, clear the cameras, and start again tomorrow. Our stay in Puerto Toro provided a beautiful hike and view of Sweet Ruka, to which I lost Roxy down below to an asado taking place in the small town of 26 people. The Alcamar and Carabineros treated us like family during our short stay in this wonderful port before we took off once again for Puerto Williams. The motor back was sunny and straight up wind as we entered the Beagle Channel. Before pulling into Puerto Williams to accept our Cape Horn certificate, we made a quick pit stop to see something most YouTube channels don't get the chance to see. Well, this ended up perfect. There were three really big cruise ships coming up behind us pretty fast. And the first one called us and asked us to get out of the channel. And this island right here called Isla Martino. loaded with penguins and it was the perfect place to hide from the wind and get out of the channel and just let all three of these really big cruise ships go by. Okay, we're here at the Port Captain's office in Puerto Williams, and these are our certificates for rounding Cape Horn. We have one certificate for Kate, 
and one certificate for me. And then here's also our uh, ZARP as well. So, very, very cool. They have official numbers. We have a sign for them in the book. Uh, we're officially official. official around Cape Horn. Very cool. cool. Woohoo! You want to take your picture with it? The southernmost yacht club in the world, the McAlvey, had closed due to a certain worldwide pandemic for almost three years. The club welcomed cruisers that dare to take the path, now less traveled, and much more treacherous one that connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Boats coming from either side to 55 degrees south all share in the same passion for navigating these cold and volatile conditions. They leave their mark on the walls to share in the unique affair experienced by so very few. Since sailors like us were starting to make their way back, our kind Chilean friends reopened the club for the first time in a long, long time. We could now properly leave our mark on the walls amongst the many brave sailors before us. our Cape Horn experience was complete. Unless, of course, another opportunity arose in the near future to go around again. Thanks to our patrons for making these videos possible. Don't forget to click subscribe and come along for the ride. See you next time on Sailing Sweet Ruka.